Hi guys, it's me, Diyang, your Russian music producer. I definitely forgot how to speak English. Let's try. Before we start, I think uh, that would be nice to listen to it again. I love this song so much. I just... <sighs> I usually start from chords and this time is not... Exception. Exception, yeah. Yeah, boy. Exception. I remember it. And this time is not exception. Honestly, I wanted to show you the whole track, but then <laughs> I decided to show you only... I don't like this word because I'm Russian and I want to say drop, drop part, but I can't. Uh, drop part drop to be honest i don't understand this mixing at all because at that time i had different experience different knowledge anyway as i said earlier i usually start from chords progression if i remember it correctly i made this one first I don't want to unfreeze this track because my CPU will die, but I hope you will see that what I use. I made this sound design through Avenger, then I use Bitcrusher, OTT, Equalizer, just uh, typical things. After that I made some pads. I don't know why it calls low pad, because this is not a low pad. Just the same code progression, but on different octave. I made them through silent one. Low one has great equalization, just look at this. <laughs> Looks pretty insane. I guess I just wanted to make a smooth pad, because this is a background pad. We don't need to hear it. This is just fills up our free empty space. Then I use OTT. The next one has almost the same mix processing. Just OTT and uh, almost the same equalization. What the heck? We have brass? What? To be honest, I really forgot I used brass in this project. But okay, if you are interested, I use this one. Then we have OTT, Mono plugin. I made low frequencies in Mono and then I use equalizer and I got low frequencies. Yo, where's the logic? That's why I said I don't understand this mixing at all. And then glue compressor. Okay, glue compressor, glue compressor. Where is the bass line? Ah, oh, here. Nice. We have bass group, we have layering, and there are three different synths. 
this one I made through Avenger, just a lot of OTT, OTT equalizer and after filter. If I want to make low pass or high pass uh, automation clip, I usually use after filter. Let's listen it, how it sounds like. That's enough. The next one is mid bass as well. I always tell you if you want to make a layering, you should use different timbers between your instruments. I made this uh, mid bass through Silent One. As always, a lot of OTT, OTT equalizer, and look at this beautiful equalization. It definitely reminds me one thing. Sub bass, sub bass through Silent One, OTT, equalizer, and after filter. That's it. I took this loop from original song, let's listen it. There's kick clap right and I mix this loop with my own drums. So then I made kick. I'm not sure why I made this equalization, but I think I wanted to save some free uh, empty space for another instrument. We have another kick. Uh, this is just a release, okay. Clap and snare, but uh, <laughs> clap and snare sound terrible because I don't have a plugin that I used in this project, so you can hear it. Then I made some percussions. Okay, let's move on and I want to show you how I made uh, vocal chops and another stuff. First of all, I want to listen to it. I use the same sample, but for example, this one, I transpose it minus two. I found this sample from original acapella. I want to show you Let's make it longer. Like a symphony, you play for me. Yeah, boy. This part. Then I just duplicate this track. We have the same vocal chops, but I made them on octave lower. I use a lot of bit crusher. I made it wider through mono plugin. I cut low and high frequencies. I use a lot of OTT and Valhalla Room as well. And that's what we got. Then I duplicate this track. There is almost the same mix processing, but I made these vocal chops on octave higher. As you can see, I saved some free space between a vocal chops. Why I did it? Because I wanted to add another vocal sample. It sounds like this. For this free space, I took this one. You played for me. This is a small part of original a cappella. Then I decided to try to use this loop. This is a loop from original track as well. Let's talk about background stuff. What we have? For example, we have this great sample. I took it from original track, then 
the same situation i took it from original track me. just me from original acapella me. the same me but on octave lower then i use some parts from original acapella like this one you play for me you play then I decided to make piano because this track is sweet, piano is sweet instrument. I found piano in Avenger, by the way. I used some OTT, Valhalla Room as well, that's it. It also follows vocal notes. background instruments are really important part. When I make vocal chops, I always make background instruments that follow the main vocal melody. It doesn't matter this is vocal or vocal chops. In this case we have these vocal chops and I made a couple of instruments with the same vocal notes. Let's listen it. the same logic with this vocal sample Well, I have to go, I really want to sleep, uh, because it's 3 a.m. right now. If you have any thoughts, if you like this video, just let me know in the comments below, guys, because I really like your sweet comments, I really appreciate your attention, and I recommend to check the whole track if you didn't. I cannot to show you uh, the whole remix in this video because I'll get copyright claim if you don't know this remix was released officially five or six months ago so see you in the next video uh, see you soon пока пока